Hello and welcome to another HP laptop opening up video. There seems to be a lot of these in a row in the last few days. Uh, this is for an HP Pavilion 15-AU076SA and um, product ID X7G58EA and then in the UK a hash or a pound sign ABU. This one is probably sold at PC World or similar. First thing I'm going to tell you about is there is at least one hidden screw there on, sorry, I was pointing at two places, <laughs> there, about there. So I'm going to start by undoing that. I'm hoping that's the only hidden screw. We'll find out soon. So you could just remove this entire strip, but I'm lazy and I'm just going to peel the strip back at that particular point. And undo the screw. Like all my other videos, I'm going to put the screws into a, uh, a pattern so I know where they come from. The next one I'm going to undo is the DVD drive. And put that out of the way. I will check so that you don't have to. I don't think, in fact, I'm almost certain uh, there's no screw under this little plastic thing here. That is just to hide, I guess, a moulding mount for when they were making the case. Okay, so that's one screw undone under here. Let's undo the rest and see whether I've missed any other screws that are hiding under any of the, uh, the feet or the bumpers. Once again, I do apologise for probably what is quite poor audio quality. I've got a fan going full blast and it's also raining. And uh, it's still 27 degrees centigrade in my office, which is uh, a little bit toasty. That's me being an idiot. I did miss one of these screws. Not entirely sure how. Okay, so I've undone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, the DVD drive, and the one under there. Now is where I'll find out whether I've assumed wrong, and there are actually more than one hidden screw, or there is actually more than one hidden screw. Um, we need to go around. I'm going to start along, uh, this is with a, a spudger or something thin uh, that can go down the side of the laptop. Please don't use a screwdriver for this, because you will end up deforming the plastic or scratching the plastic.
I think with the uh, screen where it is, I'm going to struggle to. Uh, I don't know, maybe not. Okay, close the laptop again, turn it back over. And all I did there was gently kind of lift up this bit that's closest to me, so the front of the laptop, and then push the, uh, the case gently that way, and the whole thing came undone. So in this laptop we have probably very similar to all the other HPs I've opened recently. In fact, uh, it's not identical because the battery, the big non-user removable battery is there. But anyway, you've got the, the serial ATA hard disk here. You have the RAM there. Two RAM slots so you could add extra RAM. And in this machine is 4 gigs by default. Um, Keyboard connector, touchpad connector, CPU. CPU is soldered onto the board called uh, BGA Array Soldered. You're not going to be able to replace that processor unless you have a BGA rework machine. Um, so yeah, basically don't don't think that's the thing. Wireless card is there. Power socket is here. Luckily it's its own little module and it looks like it plugs in underneath this wireless card. So if you break the power socket you can replace that quite easily. Got the video connector here, um, and the battery connector there. So that's the inbuilt, non-user replaceable battery is uh, is there. And that's about it. So, time to remove the hard disk. So normally, if I focus down, Normally for this, I would uh, just lift the drive out, but the ribbon cable here is incredibly tight. So actually I'm gonna to have to undo that ribbon cable to be able to, uh, to lift the drive out. So that black part there is a hinge that is down like that, and we need to hinge it like that. So uh, it's going to be difficult because my hand will get in the way, but I'll see if I can uh, show this. Maybe if I do it with the, uh, the implement. There we go. That's how you hinge that up. You don't need to put a lot of force into it. It just uh, should ping open. And that bit of plastic, that black bit of plastic, remains in that connector. We can now remove that ribbon cable and lift the drive out. Now unplug the serial ATA connector from the drive. Remove the, uh, the supports that were holding the drive into the machine. And there we go, we have the uh, hard disk out. So you get your SSD. and we'll put it back into place. So I need to clone this drive so that all the original data is on the new drive. And the way I'll be doing that is I'll be plugging it into a different machine to clone it, but for home use, if you were doing this, you would probably want a USB to serial ATA adapter. And before you take the machine to bits, so while it's still working on its old operating system and old hard disk, you plug the drive in to the machine and use a bit of software like Macrium Reflect, which is free for home use, to clone the drive. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help.
Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help.